guys, Cake John here. I just wanted to just wanted to do something a little different. This is still Cake John's random thoughts, but this one's a little bit more of a information type thought, and it's about a creepy object. Um, this painting is called often called the eBay haunted painting. It's originally by Bill Stoneham. In 1972 he painted it it's called the hands resistant painting i don't know i mean i guess something something happened like it was sold to some someone important i guess i don't know um but it was thrown away and this old couple found it in an old brewery and i think it was an old couple i don't remember this couple found it in an old brewery and ever since then there have been very creepy things happening around like if they were the, if apparently their children would say that that the characters would all together leave the painting and they would be standing at the foot of your bed um just i don't know to be honest i don't know and i don't want to know what happens if you find them standing at the end of the, your bed I don't know if um, they hurt you. I don't know if they just sit there and stare at you like you're someone that's completely just fucking weird. I don't know what they do. The only thing that's keeping me from really believing in this is the fact that there is such little evidence to back it up. Listen, I, me, I do believe in spirits. I believe that things can be possessed and definitely it is a creepy piece i can kind of see why people would make that connection like with spirits and because it is a very creepy piece it's a piece where there's a doll and a boy there this creepy young boy he has this like i don't know what to call that hairstyle i don't know um he has just this Frankenstein look to him. It's just very creepy. He has a blue shirt on. Um, green shorts, I think that's what that is. I can't really tell because the picture looks a little faded. And the girl, or doll, she's she has no eyes. She has brown hair. And she has a blue dress. A faded blue dress. What's really creepy to me is the fact that she has no eyes. And apparently... There have been pictures taken where her mouth is open when it shouldn't be. Which, honestly, that is very fucking creepy to me. I don't know how that even works. Like, how does that work? How do spirits manage to do that shit, you know? If it is a spirit doing it, how do they manage to do that stuff? Um, anyway, I don't know. Um, apparently, children would just bolt straight for the door if they saw that painting because I don't blame them. I mean, look how fucking creepy it is, guys. Come on. Um, hell, I'm only keeping what I'm gonna say here in this video because I feel like I can probably reach out to you guys. Um, I just, I don't know if I'm really gonna allow comments on this because there's just too much there's too much backlash about things like this. I don't want to start wars or anything. But have you guys ever seen this painting and just feel like there's a presence in your room? Yeah, for some reason, every time I look at it, like, I look at it online, I feel like there's a presence in my room. It's just the creepiest thing. But I'm pretty sure it's just psychosomatic and there's nothing to do with the painting. It's just I, I get freaked out really easily if I see something like this. Um... My personal opinion on this is it could be real. It could be, but there's no evidence to back it up, so no one really knows. But if it is, I really hope that no one buys this painting because <sighs> two things. One, it could be very bad to the artist if someone gets hurt, not just by like not I'm not talking about like paranormal like if the fucking boy were to come out and stab you or something or the girl would electrocute you with a battery or something but like I'm talking about 
like someone seeing that painting and ending up killing themselves or something. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just getting too freaked out by this. Um, I just want to end this end this story here and say, just don't buy this painting. Don't look at it. We don't know what it holds. Love you guys. Bye.